Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of an Ellen Villa wig called Movie in the color Light Honey Rooted. Now, people were asking me about this wig like a year and a half before it actually became available as part of the U.S. collection. Um, so just for the record, we can't actually sell you things that aren't part of the U.S. collection already. <laughs> just FYI. And so, uh, yeah, this one had a lot of hot word of mouth. But you know what? When I was looking at the product photos online that were provided by Ellen Villa, I was not persuaded. I didn't actually think this one looked very cute in the product photos. It looked kind of like a hot mess to me. And now I'm beginning to appreciate it. Now that it's on my head and I'm wearing it, I, I actually think that it's really cute. I think that the layering is really adorable. It frames the face really well. I think that the really sort of casually curly texture is very becoming and very interesting looking. I mean, it's kind of unique and kind of cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what movie looks like on all sides and then I'll tell you a little bit more about this Light Honey Rooted. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna dive deep into this color for you. Light Honey Rooted is quite gold, as you can probably tell. The base color is sort of like a butterscotch blonde with a lot of gold in it. It also has little hints of a really pale, almost ashy blonde mixed in with it, as well as, believe it or not, little bits of sort of a sandy blonde that's gonna be mainly towards the nape and up near the rooting. The rooting, by the way, is a very sort of uh, soft medium brown color. Overall, this looks like a gold blonde, especially from far away, gold blonde, for sure. And you can kind of tell that by just looking at this video in the natural light. So let's talk some specs. This is a five ounce wig. It's heavy for a wig that is so short. Part of that's just because it's got kind of basic cap construction, which I'll tell you a little bit more about when I take the wig off. Um, and it's actually got quite a bit of hair on it. The It doesn't quite feel that heavy though, I'm gonna say it. It feels more like it weighs about four ounces to me on. Um, the front is five inches. The crown down is 6.5. The sides are 4.25 and the nape is two inches. So this is a very cute, quirky, layered cut. I'm gonna go ahead and take movie off now so I can show you the cap construction. So here is movie from the inside. You can see that she has a baffling, at least as I'm concerned, tiny, minuscule, dinky little disc of monofilament here at the crown. Um, it's about the size of a nickel. So maybe maybe a quarter if we're being kind, but I mean, it's it's tiny. Um, and it always kind of boggles my mind a little bit when they bother to do something like that at all. I feel like they almost do that just so they can raise the price, but that's just me. Anyhow, she has a generous spade of permatease that goes right up the front of the top of the head. She's open otherwise all over the top. She's open on the sides as well as in the back. She has an extended felt nape with Velcro adjusters. She's also got closed felt here on the ear tabs. Movie is a relatively stretchy wig, which is great. Let's go ahead and look at the top of this. Despite that tiny little disc of monofilament, this is a heavily permatized wig. I mean, it, it needs to be because of all this body. You need a little bit of permatease so that it doesn't look flat. That would look odd with this kind of texture. Let me see if I can find that monofilament so I can show you what it looks like. I mean, like I said, it's kind of a baffling location to put something like that. What this wig could really probably benefit from, honestly, is a monofilament side part. But again, that's just me. I think I found it. <laughs> I mean, 
it's so pointless on this wig because this wig has so much texture. It's got so much volume and so much hair on top and so much permatease all over the rest of the cap that, I mean, you really have to search. And I mean, I'm staring directly at this thing. It, you have to search for that monofilament disc. So baffling. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put movie back on for you now. So this has been my review of the movie wig by Ellen Villa in the color Light Honey Rooted. I'm Heather. I'm from sisterwigs.com. That's C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com. Thank you so much for watching my wig reviews. If you like what we do, please be sure to check out our wig store, which is just triple dub C-Y-S-T-E-R-W-I-G-S.com, sisterwigs. Until next time, I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.